Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be making our into resin crystal bird mold again. Uh, only this time I'm going to be using eco powder. So the one that I'm using in particular is Set in Stone, uh, which is by Unicone Art. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water at a time until I get the consistency that I want. And that's about the consistency that I want, which is good. I got my bird. I'm just going to start pouring in. bit in there, give it a squish, and a poke, and some taps, just to get those air bubbles out, if any, because his tail is very, very long, and his beak is over here. So I want to make sure that we work out any bubbles that may happen to be in there. So we're going to go ahead and let this cure should take, I'm going to give it about an hour because this does take a little bit longer than uh, resin creep does. So I will see you as soon as it is time to free bird or something. <laughs> see you soon. Okay, so after three hours three and a half hours, I demolded our bird. And immediately, I mean, I didn't even have it out of the mold and the tail was snapped off. Um, so, I mean, I, so I'm frustrated with the set in stone. I'm sorry, but honest opinion, frustrated with it. Um, this is not the first time that I've used it and things have just crumbled in my hand. So I figured might as well make a molehill out of a mountain. So what I did is I sanded off his little tail where it broke. And so now we just have a little stubby tailed bird. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to give this plenty of time to uh, aerate, if you will. I've sanded everything. Um, up to, you know, 400, so he's nice and smooth, and then I'm going to take him outside and give him a good coat, you know, a few coats, actually, I'm going to need to do, of uh, clear lacquer, and we're going to make a mold out of our little stubby-tailed bird. So, I will see you guys for next steps. See you soon. Okay, so, here we go. I have gotten our bird covered in clear lacquer of both the spray paint and clear nail varnish variety. Uh, so he's all shiny. And I kind of like that there's a bit of a texture sort of kind of to him. Sorry, lint. 
Um, because, you know, birds aren't smooth. So, uh, yeah. So I've stuck a piece of 3M double-sided sticky on the bottom. And this is my silicone mold, formerly known as isopropyl alcohol container, which is slightly too short for the birds. So what I did is I ran some uh, blue painter's tape around the inside so that it will be tall enough to fit our bird in. So that is what we are doing. So I'm going to take, everybody say hi to Captain Critter. Hello, everybody. So we got the tape taken off the bottom and we are going to stick our little bird inside of our silicone mold, formerly known as isopropyl alcohol container. And that is if I can see in there because I'm blind to the bed. Come on, get in there. Stick. 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 You still sticky. Why aren't you sticking? Stick. There we go. Now we're cooking. Of course, he's stuck in the wrong place. <sighs> Where's your head at, Critter? Probably the same place that, uh, you know, anyway. All right, so there we go. He's in the middle of his little nest for now. And we've got plenty of clearance around his beak and his butt. And we're going to stir up some silicone. I have six ounces of my tea expert uh, silicone rubber, which is a 10A silicone, so that means it's very squishy. You guys have been seeing me use this a lot lately because I love it. Um, I bought it myself just to give it a try after seeing other people use it, and I have fallen in love with it. So, uh, not sponsored. But, you know, tea expert, hit your girl up. Jeez. Uh, so I'm stirring this up. Now, I don't know if it's going to take the whole six ounces or not. But we'll find out, won't we? And so I'm going to give this a non-aggressive yet mildly firm <laughs> stirring so we can make something cool out of this. And you know what? I'm feeling kind of sparkly. Are you guys feeling sparkly today? I'm feeling sparkly. So let's get sparkly. Do, 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 do. Piddly squat. I can't reach what I'm like. <laughs> it's the struggle of having little T Rex arms. Sometimes you just can't reach what you want. So I'm going to add some green, gold, white, red chameleon powder to our silicone mix just to give it a bit of color. I never do that. I should. I was feeling colorful. I don't feel good today. So I want to make brightly colored happy things to hopefully kick this bradu stupid fibromyalgia arthritis anemia broken hip crap. I'm sick of it. All right. Ooh, that's very cool looking. <laughs> Look at that! Fancy mold. All right. Okay, so what I'm also going to do for our little birdie buddy to hopefully 
save on some silicone. I have some silicone niblets from other projects that I've done that had way too much uh, surrounding them. So I am going to use our off cuts. If need be. So I don't know if we'll need be yet, but I might as well chuck a few of the little bitty ones in there. What's it gonna hurt? It's not. This is a mold for me. I'm not, you know, making it for anybody other than myself. So, and the new silicone that we put around it will just adhere itself to the old stuff and we'll have a nifty mold. And since it's for me, I don't mind doing it. Now if I were selling the mold, I would certainly make it all one piece. So bear that in mind. All right, I think we're good as far as padding goes. So we'll put that away. And our silicone is nicely mixed together and very fancy. Very, very fancy. Look at that. My gosh, that is just so cool. All right, now before I start pouring, I want to make sure that everything is stuck firmly to this inside and put the tape on the inside. If you're going to do this, put the tape on the inside, not the outside, because much like putting new shingles on a roof, you want to start from the bottom and then go up because if you do it the other way around, you're going to get leakage between the shingles. So, same principle goes here. Put the tape on the inside so the silicone doesn't have anywhere to escape. Okay? Just a little top tip for you. All right. So, we are going to pour our silicone to the side of the bird and just let the silicone fill in the gaps. And if we need more, then I'll put in more. If we don't, then okay. Give our bird a nice moisturizing silicone bath. Alright, so we still need to cover up his little head. So I am going to make up a little bit more and I will be right back. Okay, so I've mixed, I'm mixing up another four ounces of silicone here. So that's a total of 10 ounces of silicone. Um, sometimes, I mean, you can be surprised how much silicone a handmade mold takes. Um, and people say, oh, well, they're so expensive. Well, it takes a lot of silicone, and silicone isn't inexpensive. Um, so when you're looking at the prices of handmade mold, please keep that in mind that, you know, there's time and effort and materials that go into things. Uh, so don't scoff at buying a, you know, 
$25 handmade mold. Um, if you're getting the good quality and uh, the craftsmanship um, that goes into making these things. Uh, so that's my rant. It's not really a rant, it's more of a discussion. But at any rate. All right, so let's see if this is going to be enough to top up our birdie. It looks like just the crown of his little head is still sticking out. So means we're going to grab my nose. Hello. Uh, our little bag of silicone niblets. Again. And we are going to go in with some more silicone niblets. Gives you a nice solid base. I'm going to push these down so I know that we're getting a flat what is going to be the bottom. Let's swirl for aesthetic purposes. Mm. Oh. All right. So there we have it. So we're going to let that debubble. You can see the little bubbles popping in there. So I will see you guys when this cures and we set this bird free. See you soon.